Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me for our daily energy and guidance reading. And this is going to be a timeless reading, although today is February the 7th. We are using the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. I just can't seem to get enough of these cards. And you could use this as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or you could use it as a blended reading with all three cards for your daily message. And whenever this reading finds you is when you're meant to hear it. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. And I had one flipped over, so we're gonna take that. Shuffling is good because you know how we get those repeat cards. <laughs> Not that I mind it. I mean, I know we're getting the information that we need. Uh, so if it repeats, it's it's meant to be. Okay, let's get started here. So card number one is purity. And we've had this before. Yes, speak of repeat cards. And this was a jumper, so someone out there is not heeding the message or taking it seriously or maybe is too busy to put it into action. So let's read the card. It says, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. So someone out there is still trying to logically make sense of something that is going on in their life, whether it be work-related, friend-related, family-related, lover, partner, spouse, whatever it is, look deep within your heart. Get some quiet time today and go within if you're in a state of very highly charged emotions, you may want to do some meditation or breathing exercises or maybe take a sea salt bath to relax. And when you're calm, go within your heart because sometimes when we're all wound up or overly emotional about something, we make a passionate decision that maybe we regret later. Um, so go within your heart. Your heart knows exactly what it wants. To me, I'm also thinking to trust your gut feeling because sometimes my heart feels one way because I'm sentimental or nostalgic about something, but yet my gut is telling me something else. So in that matter, I always go with my gut if there's a strong gut feeling accompanied with what your heart feels. And then the next card is believe in magic and wouldn't you know it's another repeat card <laughs> i can't say it enough maybe i jinxed myself by saying it while i was shuffling the deck and they wanted to call me out on it it says open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature the fairy of northern lights says you are part of nature so you are magical too yes look around at all the blessings we have we always tend to gravitate towards the negative, what was lost, what is wrong, what's not happening. You know, whatever it is, we always think negative thoughts more than positive thoughts. We're always focusing on the negative more than the positive. So this is telling you that, you know, you got to realize that there's magic and blessings all around you and that miracles do happen. If it's for your highest good, whatever it is, it will find a way. It will happen. And then the last card, card number three, is abundance. And I believe we might have had this a long time ago, <laughs> maybe last month or a month and a half ago. And it's saying prepare yourself for the incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. Again, it's speaking of that negative thinking, that lack mentality. I'm never going to have enough. This is never going to work out. Why am I doing this? I'm not qualified for that. Do not allow yourself to start thinking negatively because what happens is, is one negative thought is all it takes to snowball into a full-blown thought attack. There is enough for everyone, okay? As far as abundance is concerned, everyone will get what they deserve for the work that they've put in, 
when the time is right. Everything is in divine timing and divine order. So do not get discouraged if you don't see your projects bearing fruit, if you don't see that your path is progressing as, as smoothly as you would like it to be. You know, abundance to me doesn't mean material things. Abundance to me be, means being peaceful within myself, feeling a, a sense of how could I say, feeling content, okay? You know, just having all that you need, not necessarily expensive things or not necessarily a lot of things, but to me, feeling abundant means feeling content and having inner peace. That's true abundance to me. Those are things that money cannot buy. So whoever out there is suffering for, from lack mentality, Know that your abundance is coming. When the time is right, it will happen. What is meant for you is going to be. And if you're wishing for something that's not for your highest good, that could possibly be why it's not happening at this point. Um, but what a beautiful card. You know, release any mental blocks that you can't have this or you can't have that. Because when you say you can't, you're blocking it. So remove the negativity to make room for that abundance to enter your life. What a beautiful reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe.